All right, guys, here's a quick shot of the stairs I'm working on. I have to trim these out, cover all those nail holes, and make it look nice. All right, real quick, I'm going to hit it with some sandpaper and knock down any rough spots, and I can also get a better glue bond. Now I'm just going to use an angle finder here and get the exact angle that I need for these corners, because if you just assume that they're 45 degrees for the miter cuts, you're going to be totally off and your miters are not going to sit right. Now I'll head out to the miter saw and make my first angled cut. Now I'll just switch angles and cut it to the length I need. This way I could trim off the first piece and then start to measure up for the rest of the stairs. Now we're going to attach the molding just by using some uh, regular wood glue. And then I'm going to shoot some 18 gauge brad nails in to secure it in place until the glue sets. Now I'm back out to the miter saw and I have to cut the length of the piece here for the long part of the staircase apron that's going to go from the top of it to the bottom on the underside of the staircase. It's going to cover a majority of the nail holes. But uh, normally on a normal staircase if the house were built correctly it would be 22.5 degrees. This one happened to be 23.5. And that's why I always stress once again the most important thing is always to use an angle finder when you're doing these intricate cuts. Now the best way to measure, I always say, is not to measure at all. So I'm just going to fit my miter in here, and then I'm going to mark the edge of the riser to where it meets the tread, and that's where I'm going to make my cut. I also have to make an angle here because I have to make another piece to go down the length of the riser. Now that I have my piece cut, I can just put some glue and then tack it in with some brads. One thing I want to let you know is that you probably didn't see that I put a lot of glue on the inside of the miters there and that's going to hold them together permanently as I tack them in. Now not only am I going to mark the length here of the molding that's going to continue down the riser, but I'm also going to mark off the angle of the miter. This way when I'm out of the saw, I don't have to worry about picturing which way the molding is going to sit. I'll just make a mark on the angle that I need to cut and just cut it once, come back in, and I'll have it the right way. I won't waste any molding. Now I'll just continue piece by piece here with the glue and the brad nails and I'm going to wipe out any glue squeeze out that comes out of the miters this way I'll have less sanding to do later with the cleanup. Continuing on to use my angle gauge here on every step because I want the miters to be very tight. I don't want to have to fill any gaps in here. I want them to just meet perfectly and you can see that none of these stairs are 90 degrees. Some are 86, some are 87. And if you just assume they were perfect 90 degree angles and you made the cuts to 45, you'd have very sloppy joints. Now you'll see here that I'm going to make the cut and then I'm going to sneak up on the line of the exact measurement that I need to cut to. And that's what's going to give me my perfect fit. Now that we're getting towards the end of the staircase, you can really see it starting to take shape and cover those nail holes up. It really dresses up the steps. Now you'll see here on the last piece that I have an angle cut on the outside of it and that's going to be for a return that I'm going to have the molding die into the step. Now cutting the return here, make sure you keep an eye on these pieces uh, because when you cut them they usually wind up flying on the floor. I got lucky on this piece, it actually stayed on the saw table. And now I can install the return and have the molding die into the step and finish it off. What I'm going to do here now is mark the bisecting angle to the lower part of the molding and then I'm going to just adjust my saw to that line to make the perfect cut. Okay guys, so the moldings are done. We've got a nice little return here block off over here and it's all picture framed out. I'm just going to put a little stain on it. First we're going to fill any little gaps and nail holes that we have with some filler and then we're going to put a little stain on it and then we'll probably thing it afterwards. A 
Okay, guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took something out of it. And this, maybe you, you need to do this to your own staircase. Now you know how. Uh, just get yourself a good angle finder, a good miter saw, and uh, make sure you measure correctly because that'll do the trick. All right, client's very happy with this. I'm going to do a second coat, darken it up a little bit, let it dry, then polyurethane it, and then we're all done. All right, see you guys next time.